Hello, I am public insurance adjuster Stephen Hadhazi, and I'm speaking to you today for InsuranceClaim.com. If you frequently adjust claims on roofing, then you have no doubt seen your share of bird poo covered composition roofing shingles. The majority of the bird poo that is found on roofs is not typically on the main body of the roof unless there's a tree overhanging, but rather it is located along the ridges, the hips, the rake edges, and the eaves of the roof as those are the areas on which the birds seem to enjoy perching. During your hail damage investigations of composition roofs, you may have noticed that in the same areas where the bird poo is located, there may be a lot of semi-roundish areas, maybe one or two inches in diameter that are likely missing some granules in a donut shape that looks strikingly similar to a hail impact. Yet, just outside of the area of the roof with the bird poo, the marks seem to inexplicably cease. A lot of adjusters may think to themselves, wow, bird poo creates damage to composition shingles that is surprisingly similar to the same donut shaped impact marks that we frequently see with hail damage. However, we have another theory. We think that maybe, just maybe, the bird poo is doing something to the asphalt shingles that is causing them to be weaker than the surrounding shingles that have not been pooed on. To test this theory, we have constructed a very simple device we call the drop hammer test. The device is essentially a hammer constructed of lightweight wood and fastened to a stationary pivot point on a table. We then strap a small one inch diameter ice ball to the business end of the hammer and allow it to free fall onto a brand new composition roof shingle that has been covered in bird poo to see what kind of damage occurs to the shingle. We then allow it to impact a similarly brand new composition roof shingle that has never been subjected to any bird poo. The amount of force the shingles are subjected to is exactly the same on all of the impacts and on both shingles. The only difference in the equation is whether or not the impacted areas had once been subjected to bird poo. Here is the test shingle while still covered in bird poo. Our bird poo technician will now circle the areas covered in poo with a magic marker prior to carefully rinsing the bird poo off of the shingle. Here is the shingle once the bird poo has been rinsed off and you can see that there is no damage to the shingle. We will begin our testing with the shingles that were covered in the bird poo. You can see how the ice ball was able to dislodge the granules from the surface of the shingle. Now, let's test the control shingle that has never been subjected to the bird poo. You can see how the granules substantially remain in place. In conclusion, 
we believe that the insurance carriers, adjusters that we have discussed this with have it partially correct. The bird poo does contribute to damaging shingles by making them weaker, similar to how the sun might make the shingles on a south-facing slope weaker and more susceptible to hail damage than the same shingles on the north-facing slope of a roof. However, bird poo is not the proximate cause of the damage that we see. The proximate cause of the damage is hail. So, the next time you see a tightly concentrated group of hail impacts in only one area of the roof, and very sporadic if any visible hail impacts on other areas of the roof, it may be that small hail impacted the entire roof but was only large enough to cause damage in the areas of the roof made weaker by the bird poo. Also, be aware that the absence of visible bird poo in areas of a roof that frequently attract birds does not mean that those areas have not been previously pooed upon and weakened. It may just be that the bird poo has since washed away. We hope that you have enjoyed the great bird poo roof shingle experiment. Please check out all of our property damage claim experiments located on our YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page so that you will be alerted every time we produce another property claim experiment video.